Hello everybody, it's the 14th of January, 2016, and welcome to Ms. with PJ. Today the topic is going to be on time. Now, a lot of us, we think that the time that we have in our world is ours, but the reality is it's not. If we remember in Genesis, God created the day and the night. And he saw that everything was good. And evening and morning, this was on the sixth day. Now, this was important because this is how time started. Now, in Psalms 9, 4, thousand years is equivalent to possibly what a day would be. Now, that only God can make that happen. Paul knew that if we don't use our time correctly, we'll fall into evil. And in Hebrews, we know and learn that the time that we have uh, here on earth is not our permanent place. But the time that we need to look forward to is our true home in heaven. But the, the Lord is like a thief. He will come and the heavens will be um, passed away and the bodies will be burned up and dissolved and exposed. Well, so, God created time in creation. Even though we live in our homes, apartment, etc., they're not ours, you know, to permanently live in. Our final home is heaven. One day, God's time can be a, uh, equivalent to a thousand years. And we have to remember that in those last days, Jesus will be returning. So, basically what I'm trying to tell you is that we are stewards of the time. We are not to waste it. We are need, need to live our lives. We need to be truthful to God. We need to go ahead and live for God. We need to be obedient, believe in God, believe in His Son Jesus and what Jesus did for us. Thank you for the, uh, watching this video and the two minutes with PJ. God bless.